The men of the 333rd carried the dream of equality with them. They knew that they had to stand out, train harder, fight tougher, and win their victory at home. XI-3-0-3-4! Allied push into the continent was rapid. The 333rd was called upon time and time again. Answering their nation's call, black Americans enlisted in great numbers. They saw World War II as blacks before them had seen their wars as an opportunity to prove themselves equal to fellow white Americans. The equality and respect they had long sought since the end of the Civil War, they believed, was almost within their grasp. Many black soldiers would go on to distinguish themselves in heroic acts of valor, including the 333rd Field Artillery Battalion. President Truman, via Executive Order 9981, would integrate the U.S. Armed Forces. This is perhaps one of the few if not the first instance where the military led its own nation in a social policy which would take its government another 17 years to enact in the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Their story is a human one, underscored by the selfless humanitarian act of one Belgian family and the sacrificial gratitude of 11 war-weary American soldiers. These men were brothers, sons, and fathers. They served because, like us, they believed in the values we hold dear. Freedom, justice, liberty. They believed in the greater good. For this, we are thankful for their service.